It's one of my favorite times of year in the sneaker world and that's the Chinese New Year and you get a ton of different sneakers coming from Nike and also from Adidas and today what we're going to be focused in on is what I think is an absolute work of art, one of the best sneakers of the season. Now there have been pictures about this, there's been stories about this, there's been social media about this, there's been internet about this uh, and I haven't gotten around to making the video yet but today I'm going to bring it because I've been looking at this shoe and finding all of those details that I want to bring to you guys right there. I've looked at a lot of Air Jordan 1 Low and I've looked at a lot of Chinese New Year and when you put that together you're going to get a lot of great details about this shoe and it also will answer that really all-important question you wouldn't have thought of it but what color should the midsole really have been so let's get into this and take a close-up look at the upcoming release of the Nike Air Jordan 1 low Chinese New Year this is the Tokyo by the 23 sneaker channel Tokyo by the 23 sneaker channel days my name is Japsun Ude, my name is Music Design. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today, we've got one of the best sneakers of the season in the spotlight the Nike Air Jordan 1 Low Chinese New Year. And like I said at the top of this video, it's an absolute work of art. It's a beautiful shoe. And sometimes, you know, it's just sometimes when they, you know, they try to put art and sneakers together, it doesn't quite work. Uh, maybe there's not enough art in there, or there's too much, you know. And then if you think about it, actually, I didn't think about this before. Making this video where there was a Vans collection that tied it up with the Museum of Modern Art in New York and that was all about the art and very little about the sneaker uh, but they've got it just right on this one as seriously as a beautiful sneaker a real work of art but it keeps that balance between the sneaker world and the art world and I think they've got it just right and what I want to do for you guys today is to go through all the little bits on the shoe uh, take a detailed look at the different hits different oxes because it's the year of the ox that are coming up uh, this year and uh, the, the Chinese New Year the year of the ox and there's different oxes on there two different particular patterns and designs as far as that goes question about what the upper materials are and then that midsole question so we'll get into all that right now and take a close-up look at these shoes so first things first the biggest standout feature on the shoe is right up high around the top end there you've got a rope and a tassel. Now it's not my kind of thing on a shoe, but it just full on works on these guys. I wasn't expecting it to. Uh, like I said, I, I don't usually like it. There was a, a series of off-white dunks, I think it was, that had a second lace that ran around them. I don't know if you remember them from earlier in uh, 2020, I say it was, not this year, last year. Uh, and I didn't like that, that extra sort of additional lace. Uh, and you've got that on here, but I kind of dig it on here, that rope around the top. It, it just, it, it fits with the rest of the shoes so being in that bold red with the beautiful sort of rope feel to it is great but what adds to that is at one end you've got this really big golden tassel that's very extravagant and right out there but the little detail that most people or maybe many people or some people don't really know is that that rope is actually a continuous piece of rope and of course a piece of rope must have two ends to it and they're tied together at a joining point in gold but I don't know if you've seen this picture here and you realize that emblazoned on that joint is a jump man and I think that little tiny detail just brings this shoe even higher up uh, the rankings it's already a great shoe but little details like that are a big yes for me so it fits in with the shoe because of the artistic element of it because it's you know it's really part of the story of the shoe it wouldn't normally like a big red rope with golden tassels around the top of my shoes but in the case of these guys I think it actually works so uh, so that's big feature number one big feature number two we've got to talk about the materials on the upper so somehow I'll be showing you a picture here of a close-up look at the upper on the green screen now usually Air Jordan 1's uh, lows or highs or mids would be leather of course there are times when they use different materials uh, and what I've read about these guys is canvas but then when I look at this picture here I'm kind of thinking there seems to be a nylon finish to that and it's to do with the sheen and the kind of glossy feel uh, whereas if it was canvas it would have a much more matte feel to it so for me I'm feeling that there's some kind of nylon effect going on whether that's a coating on top of the canvas or whether it's actually nylon uppers I don't know but what we can definitely agree on for sure is that we've gone away from leather for this particular shoe for this Chinese New Year but it doesn't detract from the shoe at all but that's a good place i'm sure whatever i'm zooming in on it's going to have two different colors in there the red which is one sort of part of the upper and then the black which is another and it's not that material or that color that matters it's the design that's on top of that so throughout this you've got the reds which is most prominent on the toe and on the swooshes and then on top of those red materials you've got the outline of an ox in gold so it's not a fully fleshed out colored in 
piece of art about the ox in there. It's an outline or just a pencil drawing in gold. And, and you can see it, you know, like I said, on the toe, but also on the swooshes, lateral and medial side in red swooshes, uh, giving you that gold sort of hit effect. And it's very, very gentle. But then when you go to the black, different parts of the shoe, and I'm sure somewhere around about the quarter line, uh, towards the toe on these guys as well, you'll see uh, that where the black materials come in, those ox features are fully fleshed out and they're colored and it's a fully designed designed piece of um, branding on the shoe. Uh, so there's those two sort of different bits playing off of each other, the red with the low key gold ox on there, and then the black with the much more popping high key, if I can say that ox on there. So, uh, so it's a beautiful look at the shoe. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to the back of the shoe first, the heel, because we've got the full on power at the back there. And then we'll go to the tongues where we've got much more subdued things going on. So as far as the back goes, uh, it's an Air Jordan 1 low, and that means wings low on the back. Uh, they could have gone with a ton of different, they could have gone with black, they could have gone with red, they could even have gone with white, uh, but what they went with was gold and it just totally works, you know, with a gold wings logo on the back of a Chinese New Year's shoe, you think, ooh, maybe that's got to be a bit too much. It works on the shoe, especially because of that tassel up top on the rope around the top end of the shoe, uh, balanced out with that that gold wings logo on the back of these, so it's a big bling on the back of it, but a big yes as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but then the subdued things that was talking about before is that uh, if you take a look at the tongue, the tongue is uh, a black tongue in uh, nylon mesh, a uh, very simple tongue, no, not, not much embellishment going on there. Uh, and at the top, very simple branding in red. So black background, red branding with the Nike Air branding at the top there. And then if you have a peek down on the inside and the insole, you can see that's inverted and it's a red insole with the black branding on there. And then the last two things to look at for this shoe are, as we get to that question that I asked you at the top of the video, hopefully what we're looking at is like the lateral side here and we'll gradually be zooming in on the midfoot. Personally, I think they shouldn't have gone with white, they should have gone with something else, uh, perhaps gold to make it like fully uh, bling, uh, maybe a, a deep red perhaps, or uh, or black in itself. But I think the white, because there's no other white on the shoe, it just stands out a little bit too much. So I would have liked to have seen something different on the midsole, but what I'm happy to see is on the outsole, they have the cherry red, very vibrant, very popping outsole to sort of top off the bottom half of the shoe and to finish it up. So, uh, so for me, it's all right there. It's a really beautiful shoe. It's a work of art. Uh, and I love doing the Chinese new year shoes uh, i've done them every single year that i've had this channel and it was uh, a chinese new year adidas uh, that got me into youtubing so uh, about four years ago 2017 uh, so i like my chinese new year shoes uh, sometimes it's a full-on pack um like i think last year uh there was no it was two years ago i think it was there's a bunch of nikes that came out uh, like 12 different ones and did the whole pack but this year is the specific shoe when i look at that air jordan one uh and just because it's such a great looking shoe and i know like i said at top of this video a lot of other people have put content out, 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 out about this shoe already but i just wanted to do it and bring it because i think it's a great shoe love my chinese new years love my air jordan one lows so uh, and that's uh, where we finished it up for today so uh, hopefully if you're walking you through um you know the different bits in the shoe you've seen something that you hadn't seen already before maybe it's that that joint in the rope at the top with the jump man on it, which is a great, beautiful gold piece of uh, feature at the top there and a great way to finish this video. So thank you guys for checking out the content. You know, I truly, truly appreciate it. And yeah, I, uh, I've i been trying to keep up with the comments, which is kind of hard these days, but I'm kind of kind of trying to keep it going and I'm doing the best that I can. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. And the only thing left for me to do is to do the thing that I do at the end of every single video, uh, because I do this every single day. I get to remind you that you, I guarantee to see me tomorrow.